When the history of Little Falls is examined, one of the most amazing details concerns the multitude and varied businesses located in the immediate downtown area. At least 10 different drugstores existed at various times in the first half of the 20th century. Prior to that time, from Little Falls' very beginning, a multitude of small drugstores dotted the downtown area. In the mid-1870s, the first recorded drugstore was owned by a Mr. Spencer, Mr. Rhodes, and John Wetzel. By the late 1870s, Spencer was bought out. In 1883, Wetzel's Pioneer Drugstore was built at 112 First Street Southeast, which now houses the Rustic Saloon. In 1892, Wetzel sold his business to Louis D. Brown. At that time, Wetzel moved his business to 55 to 57 East Broadway. He remained at that location in the Vassalet block, relocating to the Tanner block at 106 First Street Southeast in 1928. Charles H. Brown was another early pharmacist in Little Falls. Moving to the city in 1891, he started a drugstore aptly named the Corner Drug Store in the Flynn Block at the corner of Broadway and First Street. In 1905, his city drugstore was located in the Rhodes Block. In 1907, he relocated to the opposite corner, namely First Street Southeast and Broadway, as the city drugstore, the future Mutual Drugstore site. He would retain his business interests at that location through 1928, with an address change to 101 First Street Southeast, as some of the street names had recently been upgraded. L.D. Brown built his drugstore in 1892 and operated a drugstore in the Close Block at 115 First Street Northeast through 1893. In 1902, he relocated to the Lindbergh Block at 105 East Broadway, retaining the Pioneer Drugstore moniker. In 1904, he was in the Butler Block on the corner of Broadway and 1st Street Northeast. By 1905, he relocated again, this time to the Y Block on the corner of Broadway and 2nd Street Northeast, remaining there through the World War I years, then selling his business interest to Stukens and Lovedahl in 1920-1921. A.J. Wilcox, as many of the other druggists, also came to Little Falls around 1891 and established a drugstore on the west half of the Cardinal Wilcox block, also known as the Union block on East Broadway. According to several newspaper ads, he was still at that location in 1892, although nothing is found after that date. In late 1920, or early 1921, A.E. Lovedahl and Stukens purchased the L.D. Brown Pioneer Drugstore, located in the Y Block at the corner of East Broadway and 2nd Street Northeast. The partners remained together for three years, with Lovedahl buying Stukens' interest in 1923. In 1926, Lovedahl purchased the Rhodes Block in the Borner Building and relocated there in late 1926 adopting the name of Rexall drug. In 1948, 
Lovedahl did an extensive remodel and remained at that location until his retirement several decades later, at which time his family had been in business for 53 years. In 1901, C.W. Wooling opened his new drugstore in the former C.H. Brown location in the Flynn Block at the corner of First and Broadway. Another, Another drugstore! drugstore. Soon have four drugstores. Charles Wooling, for some time with M. V. Wetzel, will in about two months occupy the store now used by C. H. Brown. Mr. Brown will move his stock to another location in the city, but has not yet definitely completed his plans. Mr. Brown's friends will be pleased to learn of his decision to remain in the city. The Wooling Rexall drugstore would remain at that location as early postcards clearly illustrate, until 1909, at which time he sold his interests to M.M. Buckman, then changing the name to the Buckman Drug Company. In September of 1926, Felix Muschel, who had been employed by the Lovedahl Stukens Pioneer Drug Store, resigned his position as pharmacist when Lovedahl expressed his desire to relocate. Muschel opened a temporary drugstore in the former American Hotel building across the street. In January of 1927, Muschel made arrangements to locate in the Y block at the corner spot on East Broadway and 2nd Street Southeast. In 1941, Muschel remodeled his store and adopted the Walgreens name. In 1945, he moved it to the First Street and Broadway location, much more familiar to later generations of residents. For the next 55 years, Muschel's Walgreen drug would remain a cornerstone business of downtown Little Falls. Felix Muschel and his wife Helen operated the small pharmacy on the corner of Broadway and 2nd Street, then at Broadway and 1st Street for the next 32 years, at which time the business was sold to their son, Bob, in 1958. Muschel Drug would remain as a cornerstone of the downtown business community until November 2001, at which time Bob and Dorothy, nearing retirement, sold the business to Les and Maxine Wolf. On November 12, 2001, the Wolfs took over the reins. Wolf Drug would remain at this location until April 2, 2009, at which time the building would be transferred to Contegrity Group CGI, a construction management firm that opened its business at this location after a major renovation to meet their office needs.